The attorneys general of New York and New Jersey are now expanding their investigations of sex abuse inside the Roman Catholic Church. This follows a scathing grand jury report in Pennsylvania released last month. It accused more than 300 priests of attacking more than 1,000 children. Similar inquiries are underway in New Mexico, Missouri, and Illinois. Nikki Batiste spoke to four sisters who say they were abused by the same priest. Nikki, this was quite an emotional interview that they gave you. Unbelievable. Good morning. Church officials in New York and New Jersey say they've been cooperating with law enforcement for some time now and pledged to do so with their state AGs. The four sisters who are sharing their story with the nation for the first time say the intensifying scrutiny is overdue. It is literal torture, soul murdering torture every day. The Fortney sisters, Teresa, Patty, Laura, and Carolyn, say their family friend and pastor in Pennsylvania preyed on each of them starting in the early 1980s. Carolyn was not even two years old when she says Father Augustine Jella began abusing her. I mean, every day of my life, I think about running my car into a pole or off of a, a bridge. What was the extent of your abuse? For me, it's the fear of what I haven't discovered yet because I have vivid memories. But also, I have, met, I have moments in time where I can't remember a thing. My niece actually um, found a box that had some pornography in it and um, nude photos of Carolyn. Their parents That's reported the photos, awesome. which were found in Jella's residence, to the Harrisburg Diocese in 1992. At the time, its former bishop, William Keeler, who knew about Jella's predatory behavior, according to the grand jury report, was in line to become a cardinal. The Fortneys say their family was pressured to accept two settlements from the church. We all felt like we were alone because we couldn't talk about this. Because of the settlement? Because of the gag order. New York Attorney General Barbara Underwood just announced she would investigate the alleged church cover-ups, and New Jersey Attorney General Gabir Graywall announced a new task force to look at the alleged abuses there. Nobody should live like this with this pain, but I have hope now. I do. What is your hope? My hope is that the Catholic Church is no longer silent, that they will open up the floodgates of those secret archives and just bring justice to these people, these monsters. Father Jella was arrested in New Jersey in 1992 and confessed to police but died while awaiting trial. The Harrisburg Diocese apologized to the sisters telling CBS News those in positions of power failed to protect children from Jella, a monster who preyed on innocent children. Monster is right. I'll say, Nikki, it's so disturbing. The, the first sister who said soul murdering torture, yeah. that was tough to hear. Their strength is unbelievable. Yeah, yes. see that. Faith is supposed to help you not feel alone. And she said, we felt like we were all yeah. alone. Yeah. Yeah. Devastating. Thank you so much, Nikki.